Letters from the Atlantic by Barry Mahoney The people of Britain have always been adventurous. Despite being an island race, many of our forefathers felt the urge to leave its shores and to explore the world beyond. Our national history is full of exciting accounts of explorers and adventurers. The days of empire made travel to far-off lands even easier, and the Victorians in particular took full advantage of the increasing ease of travel throughout Britain, Europe and beyond. In modern times, with the arrival of the aeroplane and fast ferries, affordable overseas travel became more accessible to many more people. In recent years, the UK's entry into the European Union has made it much easier for those of the spirit of adventure inside them to live and work overseas. In the last 20 years, the rapid increase in UK house prices has left many owner-occupiers in the fortunate position of having sufficient equity in their property to make their wish to travel a real possibility. Second homes in France, Spain and Italy are no longer the province of the fortunate few. And for many others, the opportunity to leave the UK and make a permanent move to another country within the European Union had become too tempting to ignore. Letters from the Atlantic is the account of the adventures that my partner David and myself have experienced since our move to Spain and the Canary Islands. We were both primary school head teachers for many years, with myself becoming a school inspector and education consultant working in schools throughout England and Wales. We felt that we'd done our bit for Queen and Country, and that now it was time for something completely different. I thoroughly enjoyed my time in the education service, but I've always believed that the recognition of one's own sell-by date is important for personal sanity as well as for future happiness. Like so many who have gone before us, Often tempted by the warmer climate and lower cost of living, we decided to sell up and move to a country that we both already loved. Spain's Costa Blanca was to become our new home, together with our lovable yet self-willed corgi Barney, and later to be joined by a fruit bat called Bella. Letters begins with my experiences of leaving the education service and starting a part-time job as a newspaper delivery boy in the Costa Blanca. A period as a newspaper reporter and photographer led to being sent to the Canary Islands to launch and edit a new English language newspaper in the small Atlantic island of Gran Canaria. I hope that letters give readers an insight into our many experiences during this challenging and exciting period of our lives. Looking back, I'm not quite sure how we overcame all of the problems, but we did, and have enjoyed most of it in the process. Little did we know that when we left the UK on that cold and wet February morning, that this was only the beginning of our adventures, and I'd be writing letters to friends and family from a small island off the west coast of Africa. I also hope that this book will serve as an inspiration to those of you who are tempted by a new life in the sun. If you feel that you have a sufficiently flexible approach to life and have the will to succeed despite the odds, you will achieve your goals. Don't let others, who may be less adventurous than yourselves or have their own agendas, put you off. Grasp your new opportunity and challenge with determination and make it happen. You can find Letters from the Atlantic in all good bookshops or online, or have a look at my website, www.barrymahoney.com. Thank you for listening.